The James Webb Telescope has made groundbreaking discoveries in astronomy in recent years, giving us a fresh viewpoint on space. The JWST also investigates the atmosphere of the planets outside our solar system and searches for signs of extraterrestrial life. The publication of the clearest photograph of Proxima b, a potentially habitable exoplanet located just 4.2 light-years away from Earth, is one of the most recent thrilling discoveries. What secrets does this distant world hold? Can it hold life? Vodurian. Join us as we look into the clearest image of Proxima b, released by the James Webb Space Telescope. The clearest image of Proxima b revealed Proxima b, commonly known as Proxima Centauri b, is a planet in the habitable zone of its parent star, Proxima Centauri. It is located in the Alpha Centauri triple star system, which is the closest star system to our own. It was discovered in 2016, and since then, it has piqued the interest of astronomers due to its proximity and possibility for livelihood. Proxima Centauri is classed as an M-type red dwarf star. Despite being our nearest star neighbor due to its low apparent magnitude, it is not visible to the human eye. It is, nonetheless, a star worth admiring because it is one of the most efficient in terms of energy generation and will continue to be a main sequence star for another four trillion years. It receives roughly the same amount of radiation from its star as Earth does from the sun, raising questions about the presence of water and the possibility of life on its surface. The habitability of Proxima b, on the other hand, is still being contested as it receives severe ultraviolet radiation from its star, rendering it hostile to life as we know it. Thanks to a recent study using right resolution magnetic field maps, we have better understood the solar wind and the dire situation of Proxima b. The study reveals that this planet receives roughly 1,000 times more solar radiation than the Earth, which will put any potential habitat in danger of powerful flares. A Proxima Centauri flare in April 2021 was 100 times more potent than any flare ever observed from the Sun which makes it hard to believe that life exists there due to intense radiation without a specialized shelter. The idea of residing on a planet orbiting Proxima Centauri is inviting, but the reality is far from hospitable. Furthermore, the discovery of Proxima Centauri b, a planet at habitable distances from the nearest star to the solar system, was a breakthrough in planetology and has heightened interest in the Alpha Centauri star system, of which Proxima Centauri is a member. Proxima Centauri b is thought to be the best-known exoplanet as of 2023. Proxima Centauri b orbits its parent star at about 0.05 astronomical units, which is around 7.5 million kilometers, and has an orbital period of about 11.2 Earth days. Its additional attributes are unknown, although it is thought to be a potentially Earth-like planet with a minimum mass of at least 1.07 and a somewhat greater radius than Earth. The planet orbits within the habitable zone of its parent star, but its atmosphere is unknown. Proxima Centauri is a flare star with powerful electromagnetic radiation emissions that could deplete the planet's atmosphere. The planet's close vicinity to Earth provides a potential for robotic space exploration, such as the Breakthrough Starshot Project. As humans, we've always been fascinated with the idea of encountering extraterrestrial life. And in late 2020, the desire heightened when a peculiar signal from the Alpha Centauri system was found. Interestingly, the signal reads that at an unusual frequency of 982 megahertz, which is not typically associated, with waves from Earth-based satellites and spaceships. There was a divided opinion on this unfamiliar prompt among the experts. Some speculated that a piece of manufactured equipment might have caused the prompt while some believed it might be proof of a supernatural life. So traveling to Proxima Centauri, the closest planet to Earth, to find aliens may not be as far-fetched as one thought. 
The breakthrough initiatives have been researching the likelihood of cutting down travel time from hundreds of years to just decades. New research points out how current technology could potentially overcome the challenge of accelerating an object as its mass increases, particularly as it approaches the speed of light. Despite this, Alpha Centauri being the closest star to the Earth would still require 6,000 years of year with available technology, making it a formidable journey. Starshots, a project aimed at reaching Alpha Centauri system, is contemplating using lasers to propel a spacecraft towards its destination. However, the main challenge is in the Earth's atmosphere, which affects incoming lights and laser lights, making it difficult to exert the necessary force to move a spacecraft forward. Babatunde, the paper's first author, suggested that adaptive optics could be used in reverse to overcome the challenge. Small lasers on satellites would assess atmospheric effects in real time, which will allow much more powerful lasers on the ground to maintain a tight focus on the space probe. The required lasers need a large amount of 100 gigawatts of power to send the vessel at any given time, which is equivalent to the entire electricity consumption of the United States. However, the lasers only need to run at a maximum capacity of 10 minutes, and to spread the electricity across a kilometer region, they plan to use 100 million lasers. The Starshots team is determined to push the boundaries of space exploration. The object hurtling through space will be moving at the astonishing 20% of the speed of light when the lasers are turned off. The spacecraft would be a little over 10 meters in diameter and could reach the Alpha Centauri system in just 22 years. However, the gravitational pull of the sun and interstellar debris may considerably slow it down. Even if the spaceship reaches Alpha Centauri, its feedback will take another four years to reach the Earth. Babatunga and Sibley, who are part of the Starshots, know that keeping the probe from melting is one of the challenges of this discovery. To prevent this, the mirror on the spaceship must be practically perfect, reflecting 99.99% of the light that strikes it. Additionally, it needs to double the momentum transfer while decreasing heat in a matter of days. Once launched, the probe would traverse the Alpha Centauri system, likely never getting close to the planet. What's fascinating about this concept is that once the launch system is in place, more inquiries may be sent for a reasonable price. The chances of catching a fleeting glimpse of any Earth-like planets are significantly increased if a fleet of discoveries floods opposite the planet system. So, if mankind can arrive safely on Proxima Centauri, we will be able to explore more about the planet and the availability of exoplanets. In 1992, scientists made the first official findings of planets circling a particular class of neutron star called a pulsar. Three years later, the first planet revolving around a star similar to the Sun was found. Since then, numerous additional planets have been discovered, including several Earth-sized worlds within the habitable zone of their stars. Intervention of James Webb Space Telescope the James Webb Space Telescope, fondly referred to as the J.I.D.B.U.S.T., enables astronomers to study the early universe and better understand the origin of galaxies, stars, and planets. Researchers can analyze the hues in those images by using the telescope's camera and filters to gather a specific range of light colors. The J.I.D.S.T.'s ability to look further back in time and space than ever before has led to significant findings on the evolution of erosion. Astronomers face considerable obstacles when observing exoplanets like Proxima b. The telescope will also be equipped with coronagraphs, which will allow direct imaging of exoplanets near bright stars. An exoplanet image would be only a place, not a big landscape, but by examining that spot, we can learn a lot about it. This includes its hue, seasonal changes, vegetation, rotation, weather, and so on. The science of measuring the intensity of light at different wavelengths is known as spectroscopy. 
the discovery of Proxima b marks a significant advancement in the search for potentially habitable exoplanets. Despite being much younger than Earth, Proxima b offers insights into the diversity of planets in our universe. Observations suggest it's likely a gas giant without a rocky surface, making it challenging for life as we know it to exist there. However, further research could reveal more about its unique characteristics and potential for habitability. Different types of exoplanets, such as hot Jupiters, Neptunian exoplanets, super-Earths, and mini-Neptunes, exhibit diverse characteristics and compositions. The study of exoplanets has revealed intriguing phenomena, such as the Radius Valley, which highlights variations in planet sizes. Understanding the composition and environments of exoplanets is essential for determining their potential for hosting life. Recent discoveries, such as TOI 270 and its orbiting planets, offer valuable insights into the diversity of planetary systems. Further research into these systems may shed light on the formation and evolution of planets, as well as their potential habitability. In summary, the study of exoplanets is a dynamic field that continues to uncover new insights into the universe's diversity and the potential for life beyond Earth. Subscribe for more amazing video.